The latest regarding CM Punk, A Steel, and the Elite's backstage drama, Malachi Black reportedly obtains conditional release from AEW, Pat McAfee WWE commentary role on hold due to ESPN College Game Day job, and WWE promotes Shawn Michaels to Senior Vice President of Talent Development Creative. Hey there, everyone. It has been a loaded wrestling news weekend, so let's get right into it. We're going to go ahead and kick off with more of the recent updates regarding all of the AEW backstage drama. Here we go. Suspensions and possibly more are imminent for those involved in Sunday's post-AEW all-out brawl following CM Punk's press conference. Sports Illustrated's Justin Barrasso reported Wednesday morning that according to multiple sources, CM Punk and producer A. Steele will either be suspended suspended or let go by the end of Wednesday. He said that CM Punk met with AEW head Tony Khan on Tuesday. Additionally, Kenny Omega, The Young Bucks, Pat Buck, Christopher Daniels, Michael Nakazawa, and Brandon Cutler have been suspended. Barasa reported that an external third-party investigation will be conducted to look at what happened. AEW revealed on Wednesday that Jericho will address the AEW Galaxy on the show. AEW World Champion CM Punk has suffered a serious injury, believed to be from a tope onto John Moxley during their AEW World title match at All Out, according to our very own Dave Meltzer. There had been rumors since Sunday that Punk was hurt following the match as he was applying ice during his now infamous post-match press conference. Meltzer said, quote, it's been confirmed to me no matter what happens discipline-wise that the title situation has to be changed and addressed tonight. He said Punk is currently in Chicago and not in Buffalo, New York, where tonight's Dynamite is taking place. According to Fightful, the rumors of Malachi Black being done with AEW appear to have some merit. Their reporting has numerous talent telling them they have been told he has either received his release or is done for the foreseeable future. They called the release terms highly conditional, but it's unknown what those conditions are. They speculated that the conditions could restrict Black from wrestling elsewhere, including indies, as he has riffed drawn from an Ohio indie show this week. Speculation increased following Sunday's All Out when off-screen Black blew kisses to the fans and bowed after House of Black fell in defeat to Darby Allin, Sting, and Miro. The outlet reported last week that Black's request for a release back in August was denied. They noted that Tony Khan wanted to keep Malachi Black, but a decision was made to honor his request following a recent meeting. The former Aleister Black in WWE made his AEW debut in July 2021 by making a surprise appearance and attacking both Cody Rhodes and Arn Anderson. He was released in June 2021. His wife Selena Vega is currently in WWE after re-signing prior to Black's AEW debut. WWE commentator Pat McAfee has picked up a significant new role in sports media that will see his commentating career on SmackDown put on hold. The New York Post reported on Tuesday night that McAfee is joining ESPN's College Game Day as a full-time member of the show. College Game Day airs live on Saturday mornings every week during college football season. While the New York Post initially reported McAfee will remain with WWE, McAfee said on his show Wednesday that WWE felt it was better for his health and family and such if he focused on the ESPN opportunity, even though he wanted to do both. Paul Triple H Levesque weighed in on Twitter to further explain and reiterate that McAfee will remain associated with the company. Shawn Michaels has a new executive job title in WWE. CBS Sports reported on Wednesday that Michaels has been promoted to Senior Vice President of Talent Development Creative. CBS Sports wrote that Michaels will continue to oversee creative in NXT, as well as being in charge of the development of talent in WWE's developmental brand, and will also oversee the expansion of the NXT brand, including the expansion of NXT UK into NXT Europe, which is planned to launch in 2023. Shawn Michaels has been working behind the scenes in NXT since 2016. He stepped into a bigger role helping to lead charge of the brand last year as Paul Triple H Levesque recovered from heart surgery. Alrighty, everybody, that's the latest for today. There are going to be plenty more updates, but in the meantime, make sure to subscribe to F4W Online, give this video a like, and I will see you tonight on Speak Now Pro Wrestling as I cover AEW Dynamite. See you guys later.